Welcome to Deep River Farm, folks. <clears throat> Trying to get a couple of videos done on uh, some stuff some viewers sent in and asked some questions about. Uh, this question came from a viewer that was asking specifically about what we make our uh, trellises out of. And uh, <clears throat> they've seen that uh, we build them out of two befores. And on each two before, along the top, the top brace, and also on the side post, I place screws every four inches, which is the width of my fist. And I just use my fist as a quick measurement. I, I'd put a screw in and I'd put my thing and I'd stick a screw and I'd screw it in and move down the two before. I made it every four inches. But their main question uh, concerning the trellis was, was the rope that I use. So this is the rope I use. It's called mule tape. I'm gonna try to see if uh, you can see it. Mule tape. That's what I use. This is used in underground duck uh, where they place fiber, uh, where they place uh, power underground in the conduit. Uh, this is the this is the pull string that they use to hook the fiber up and pull it through the duck underground as they're putting in new communications and so forth. But this this is what we use mule tape. Now where can you get this? If you know anybody in the communication industry that deals with fiber, uh, deals with putting in underground conduit and things, chances are they pull out tons of it every year underground and uh, then when they pull it out it's basically thrown away now the benefits of this mule tape is it can lay in water underground for two or three years and when it comes out it's very very sturdy now this particular mule tape i'm gonna look and see this one here says 800 pound it's it's rated just like fishing line so a 10 pound test if you understand fishing line how the how what they call the the 10 pound test six pound test that stuff's regulated for certain size of fish and it won't break but if you get something a lot bigger a lot heavier that fishing line will break well this is the same way this stuff this is the smallest I've seen is 800 pounds. I'm sure it may come less, but it's standard at 1,250 pounds. You can get it up to 2,500 pounds. So, you know, and it's a little bit wider. Uh, but if you know anybody that's in that industry, you can probably get it for free. If you have to buy it, uh, you can get it at a place called Gray Bar, and they sell it. Uh, by the by the uh, foot and you can contact them but uh, this is what I make uh, my I'll put on my trellises I, I tie this onto those screws and I horizontally wrap it and bring it up and back and forth and I do that all the way up this trellis and then whenever I I come down the trellis I come down and I wrap it each time around and it looks like uh, field fencing when I get through and it's very tight and my produce will not sag. It will not pull it down. Uh, it can hold uh, pumpkins. It can hold cantaloupes, watermelons, anything like that. And you're wondering how you grow stuff that heavy on a trellis. And basically all you'd need to do is weave you up something to hold it, kind of like a hammock. And it'll hold it. I appreciate you joining us. I hope this has answered any question on the type of rope we're using on our trellises here at Deep River Farm. If you have any questions on anything that we use or how we do it, feel free to leave it in the comments. And if we can, we'll make a video about it. I appreciate this particular viewer that asked this question, and I hope this has answered your question. Thanks for watching. We want to thank all of our subscribers for watching. And if you have any questions, we might can make a video uh, to answer your question. We'll do it, and we'll let you know uh, when that question's asked. Thanks for watching, and have a blessed day from Deep River Farm.